Okay, this is the Game is On 100 here with a video. And this video, I'm going to be talking about the sudden shocker that was announced on Raw of John Cena returning at the uh, Hell in a Cell pay per view facing Alberto Del Rio for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, let's get started. Um, this is a, a surprise for me. Um, that John Cena is coming back this quick from an injury that uh, that they said he was going to be out for four to six months. But uh, from what I could tell from the John Cena's injury post that he keeps on uh, updating, he's been uh, it looks like he's been hitting the gym hard, and uh, he know he is a gym buff. I know that everyone else knows that. And uh, from what I could tell from what John Cena is hitting the gym, he's lifting weights. And uh, I seen him do uh, cleaning. I think they showed a picture of him cleaning over 300 pounds, I believe it was. Uh, if you would look at the, at the weight, it was definitely over 300 pound clean that he did that they showed on this past uh, Sunday. Um, that is impressive. Um, you know John Cena is a is a power lifter. I all know that. And uh, basically, from what I could tell from the WWE bringing back John Cena, is uh, one thing only, and that is they must be really need John Cena back if they cannot uh, handle having uh, with the ratings that Raw's been going on as of late, and uh, the Raw got a low rating. This past week, well, see what's going to happen with this uh, rating that's going to be announced on Tuesday. But uh, we'll see with that. But uh, I've been getting, so been reading on that fans are are pretty upset that John Cena is getting a World Heavyweight Championship match against Alberto Del Rio. Um, I know everyone is very mad. That Cena's getting the title shot. But uh, there's a lot of things uh, the WWE can do with this scenario. Um, that's going to be maybe more than likely that uh, Damian Sandow can cash in his money in the bank contract pretty soon. Or unless if the WWE wants to have something very special to go for uh, WrestleMania 30 to have maybe a title unification match. And uh, if John Cena is one of the champions for going into a title unification match, that will be huge. Um, I know everyone is upset that Cena is be coming back and facing Del Rio for the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, all I got to say is if Cena is going to be facing Del Rio for the World Heavyweight Championship, it's fine by me. I have no problem with John Cena facing Del Rio for the World Heavyweight Championship. John Cena is going to be doing that when he comes back. I'm okay with that. That will free up the whole Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton thing, the corporation angle that they got going on. Keep Cena out of it, which is good. It also allows they can build up Daniel Bryan more. That's what the WWE is trying to do. But it's only right if they would make the World Heavyweight Championship mean something somehow you gotta get that title to get it up in prestige that title that the Rio has right now doesn't have the prestige of the WWE title with John Cena challenging Del Rio and possibly winning the World Heavyweight Championship it's all good this will bring up to prestige of the World Heavyweight Championship that Cena can hold it it will do good. Even though we see Cena as a two-time world heavyweight champion, we've seen that. It shouldn't it shouldn't be a problem with Cena if he's coming back and uh, getting a world heavyweight championship match. Because John Cena is technically still due a WWE championship rematch. He's still entitled to a championship rematch. So if the WWE... Is going to go that route. I have Cena challenge Del Rio for the World Heavyweight Championship. And uh, the WWE is smart. 
They sure let Damien Sandow just hold on to the briefcase. Because Damien Sandow has until July of next year to cash in the money in the bank contract for the for the world title. But what would happen is if the WWE title and the World Heavyweight title, if they get unified at WrestleMania 30, then that means that the money in the bank holder, Damian Sandow, can cash in and be the WWE champion. Because you know when the WWE, if they will merge the world title and the WWE title, it's going to be in the WWE main title. There will be no longer be World Heavyweight Championship. So... From that standpoint, I can see what the WWE is going with that route with having John Cena face Alberto Del Rio. I'm all fine with that. It's what's right for business. At the end of the day, it's all good for business. You guys are not going to be complaining about John Cena being in the in the Daniel Bryan Corporation stuff that's going on. That's why you guys are getting upset about this, but you're being upset about the other people who will not get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. But getting Cena, okay, put the belt on Cena, that was going to, that's going to make the title be more prestigious. If they put the belt on him, have him hold it for a while. If they want to do a title unification, do a title unification at WrestleMania 30. WWE Champion versus World Heavyweight Champion. I'm still figuring... For WrestleMania, my prediction was going to be Randy Orton and John Cena was going to be the main event of WrestleMania 30. They were going to be doing with the whoever is the face of the WWE. Let's just say that John Cena is World Heavyweight Champion and Randy Orton is the WWE Champion and have a title unification. That would be good for business and also I want to point uh, one other thing that I need to say and that is in order for the next person to step forward and to take John Cena's place has to defeat John Cena at WrestleMania when he is champion. If the WWE can get the right person and have that person beat John Cena for a title, the title, that will be your next future face of the company. That's what the WWE did for years with their face of the company. I can see that they're playing this whole face of the company scenario because they're saying Randy Orton is the face of the WWE right now. But in actuality, John Cena is the face of the WWE. So they want to be proper fitting. They want to have a title unification match. John Cena versus Randy Orton for both titles on the line. So be it. They'll be the... Be the supposedly whoever wins will be to supposedly be the face of the WWE, but the Nets face of the WWE won't be the face of the WWE until when Cena loses the title at WrestleMania. Cause Cena has never lost at WrestleMania when he was champion. He has never lost. He has won the title at WrestleMania, but he has never lost as champion that is key that is what is right for business like what triple h is saying is the best for business with john cena getting the title off of del rio it's right for business it will make the world heavyweight championship mean something this is the game is on 100 i am out later